Okay, I'll start by saying after years of speculation and talk of this, the Adam Partridge movie, I was wondering why you felt now was the, the best time to find and bring Adam to the big screen. Uh, it, it wasn't that this was the best time, it was just like we, we finally got, thing, got our, our acts together. You know, we finally got things in place. Uh, uh, so yeah, it was just um, you know, for, for for it to come together, there's so many elements have to be in place to make it work, and you have to have the the, the you know the right writers and um, uh, and, and you know, the scripts has to be in the right place, and you have to have a good idea and all all those things. We talked about it a long time ago. But we're all doing other things. Uh, fortunately, uh, the biggest bonus was uh, finding these new writers, Rob and Neil Gibbons, who. Uh, gave new impetus to the character, and uh, once we'd wrote, once, once we'd taken the character out and dusted him off again, because we left him alone for about six or seven years. Uh, although it might have seemed he was still around, because they keep repeating TV shows, but he, he wasn't. And then we just took him out on the radio, on, on the internet, did these webisodes, and we realised that the character had enough cojones to, to to develop him further. And when all those things came into place, and we'd written a the script, then finally we thought, okay, now we're ready to do it. Uh, when we left uh, Alan in Mid Morning Matters, he was a bit of a, an emotional wreck. He was a little bit worse for wear. Hmm. And I think he seems a little bit re rejuvenated in the movie. He seems a little bit kind of more, perhaps a bit youthful, a bit more nimble on his feet. I was wondering what the decision was behind it. Well, there's several things. First of all, I mean, uh, although we, you know, we used to have, use ageing makeup for Alan years ago when I was too young, and now I'm sort of. I mean, Alan's still always a little bit older than me, but. Um, I'm no spring chicken anymore, so I've already got the crow's feet around my eyes, and we don't need to use the makeup for those. And um, also, you know, when you put him on the big screen, you can't have him quite as caricatured. You have to make him a bit more real. Uh, and so we felt that was part of the, the, the process that we wanted to make. We wanted to make him also slightly more trendy, as if he'd come through a midlife crisis. He was more comfortable in his own skin, and had obviously gone out shopping to buy some new trendy inverted commas clothes uh, so so they were, they were all conscious decisions and it's great to see Lynn back because this is her first kind of appearance since uh, yes. the TV it must be really great fun because mm. so much of the the best comedy around the parties derives from their relationship it's exactly great to, to write new material with oh it was, it was wonderful it was it was very exciting to be able to do that because I mean she was one of the successors of the TV series as you say and uh, we also brought Michael back the Geordie who is a sort of Alan's uh, Alan's slightly even more inadequate friend who makes Alan feel feel uh, superior but just by uh, the relative relationship. Uh, so, uh, yeah, but yeah, bringing, bringing Lynn back, we knew would be a, a, a crowd pleaser and also would lend that dynamic. We knew that dynamic worked very well, that relationship. So it, that was something we kind of salivated over. Yeah. I was wondering, when you were right, uh, when you were sort of making the TV series, were you thinking as far ahead as the film? Because I mean, when you had sort of Alan driving up to, to Dundee in his bare feet, did you ever one day picture him as the hero? No, no, we didn't. Uh, it just it just meant that we wanted to do something different. We'd done the television series. We felt we didn't want to repeat that. So that's why we went and did those webisode things on Mid Morning Matters. We 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 want we and then we thought well we've done we've done him stripped down, kind of unplugged on 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 Mid Morning Matters. Now we want to go the opposite way and make and, and bring a big sort of production to town and try and make him you know make make the Alan film. But uh, I think we all, as the years were rolled on, we always thought he had the. You know, legs to sustain the film. So it was just, and it always felt like we we felt like if we didn't make a film, there'd always be that question. People kept saying, "Are you going to make a film?" Because we talked about it very casually once, and then we thought we we, we we just have to try and do it. You know, lance that boil. I was wondering, do you reckon we'll ever see Alan uh, get his second series? Um, I I I feel that that's sort of we're going back to where he was before. So you have to. I think something has to change about Alan. Alan Alan could. Um, uh, may, may, maybe he'd have a brief sort of flirtation with the uh, network television, but there's something good about Alan being on the back foot and not being too successful. If you're making too successful, it's very difficult. So it's always good to have him just a bit, you know, it's just everything's just a bit out of reach. So we might actually get to see Monkey Tennis off the ball then? You might see him, I don't know, I think you're more likely to see youth hosteling with Chris Eubank. <laughs> see, that's, that's more likely. <laughs> And uh, of course, uh, this comes out just a couple of days before What Amazing You, which is another film that, that you're starring. Oh gosh, I forgot about that. <laughs> uh, I was just wondering, uh, which because uh, that's a kind of more serious American drama. Mm. Is that one that you feel a bit more nervous or more excited about, kind of being released to the to the world? Uh, well, um, no. The thing I'm really excited about is the film I did with the uh, I've written uh, that I just shot with Judy Dench and Stephen Frears. That's the oh, that's that's. Martin that's 
a better way of playing Martin Sixpence. Yeah. Filling me. For that's that's the thing. That's that's the that's the thing I'm sort of most excited about. People seeing uh, beyond Partridge uh, is that I mean, what amazing is a very interesting film. But that's some more th thing where I'm just cast as an actor. Um, I don't have as much invested in it. So if people like what amazing, you're great. But um, it, it doesn't keep me awake at night. <laughs> whereas this does. Yeah. And my final question. I'm just wondering about uh, the, the second season of the trip because that was uh, was one of the finest TV shows in, in, in the recent years. I mean, I'm really excited about it coming back. What's the, the dynamic in there? Well, it's sort of the same but different. Uh, we, we Rob and I go on a trip to Italy, along the Amalfi Coast, visiting Rome, Naples, and. Pompeii and Capri and all these marvellous, marvellous places eating wonderful food, <laughs> all at the BBC licence uh, fee fair's expense. But we do actually do, do we do work as well, um, insofar as we we we, ex we we retrace the footsteps of the romantic poets uh, Shelley, Byron, Keats, and um, and uh, we explore their poetry and, and uh, our own midlife crises and and bring it all together in, in this strange amorphous thing that sort of Michael Winterbottom somehow manages to make sense at the end of it all. And have you got any new uh, uh, impersonations? Because I always loved your the ones you. you oh yes. I thought yours were, uh, some of them were better than Rob's. Oh you? well, I like, I'm glad you said that because I I try to introduce some new ones just to show that Rob's repertoire is rather limited. Um, so yes, I, I did do some new. Who else do I do? Oh, I can't remember. We, we did. We did do some new ones. Um, James May. Oh no, I think I did. No, I think I think oh, there are definitely some new ones. I just can't remember what they are right now. The nays of the the. She was over 16, that's all we did. We did some more of the ones we did last time. We re do repeat ourselves, I'm afraid, but we did add some extra ones in as well. Brilliant. Well, thanks so much for your time today. Thanks a Appreciate lot. It. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you.